assalamu alaikum welcome back to the dynamic engineers so today we are going to talk about an important concept that is used in civil engineering and design purpose and we focus it on it during construction as well so what is that that i have written it the development length so first i would like to define it that what is development length and then uh, we will go for the calculations different methods through which we calculate the development length so what is development length let me draw first an example for you people like if this is a column and this is a beam running in between these columns okay so if anyone who has been through the construction purpose they would have seen some steel bars here that we draw the bars from here this is how we draw it like if you just look at this the beam steel was supposed to be till this point till the end of this point but we do not stop the bars here we just embed these steel bars in this column and we just give a development length here so you do need to know about what is development length from so from this figure i can define the development length as the development length is that piece of steel or that piece of reinforcement that is needed to be embedded from one member to another member like from this beam to this column from one member to another member to create the required bond between this member and this member okay so here if you look at this why do we need it this beam has to transfer its load to these columns now if you just finish this steel here then how will it just the transfer this load from here to here so the only thing that is needed here is this development length this development length is responsible for the transferring of load from this beam to this column so this was the definition of what is development length now how we calculate development length so as for indian standard 456 the development length formula is ld is equal to 0.87 fy multiplied by bar diameter multiplied divided by 4 into top bd what are these things let me explain it for you 0.87 is a constant fy is the strength of steel that we are going to use now we all know what are different strength of steel you are using g40 g60 or g75 whatever steel you are using you will have to put the value of that strength here this is the bar diameter you are using 9 mm steel 10 mm steel 12 mm steel 16 mm steel whatever steel you are using you'll have to put the value in this bar diameter and this is the tab ed is bond stress okay so this is the standard formula or the formula is for NDA standard now now what is the thumb rule of how to define the development length or how to provide the development length here is the thumb rule and from this the 50 and to bar diameter like if you are using 12 mm bar 12 millimeter then 50 into 12 which is equal to 600 millimeter this will be the bar diameter so somewhere if you want to calculate the development length of any bar it will be around 50 d that is the 50 55 45 are in between 45 to 55 this is how the thumb rule is 
and this is the standard formula now there is almost no difference between this value the value we get from this formula and this formula there will be a minute difference or that is like negligible difference between these two values development length of any bar depends upon its strength its diameter and the concrete used okay development length also depends upon the concrete used like if you are using 4000 psi concrete 6000 psi concrete or whatever it is m30 m35 m25 which type of concrete you are using that development length depends upon that concrete as well so i hope you like it and you would have learned something from this video so if you learn something don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you may get other videos as well thank you